All right, welcome to part two of setting up your stream. I'll be your host, Theo's Little Monster. <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. Hi, welcome back. My name's Bob Ross. We back yet? All right, cool. So when you get that set up, oh you get oh, so fucking, fucking cool. cool. Holy, Holy shit. shit! Wow. And then your bits drop into the jar, and everybody goes, "Ooh, you're so cool." Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, again, as you can, oh, Killer Keemstar. You can adjust everything that you need to. It's it's very simple. It seems very overwhelming at first. I promise you, it is not. Um. Again, you can play with all this shit. You can use pictures, you can use this, you can use that. There's so many different things. You can use Muxy for this. Um, yeah, that 5 SPS, FPS bit animation, because I'm doing a, a monitor capture. Um, again, all this stuff. If you want to use it, you can. You don't have to. Um, I don't really link donations to Streamlabs. Um, I like to kind of keep it private. Um, that way it's untraceable as well. Not saying, just saying. Um, again, so we'll bring up things like, uh, where's the mini player? If you want people to know what you're listening to while you're playing, I have mini player for Google Play Music. Um, this guy is a real simple, um, just window capture. Play with these, learn what you're going to, to need. Um, they're fairly self-explanatory. If you want a static picture, that's an image. Game capture is going to be something like you're playing on... Do I have any? No, I don't have any Pornhub tabs. I do I do still have the cereal bowl from last night. Speaking of, where's Quaz? Um, as you can see, I have a lot of games. Yo, what up, Skate? How are you tonight? Ladies and gentlemen of the stream, one of the masters, I, this is the guy, the motherfucker I learned how to set up streaming from. Uh, Skate has probably one of the most intense setups that I have ever seen. Um, HD, HD upscalers, S-cart cables, uh, PVMs, like, if you want to see the neatest, cleanest setup, um, that you will ever see, Skate is your man. He is a wizard when it comes to this stuff. Um, as you guys saw, my shit's extremely messy on the actual hardware end. So I'm going to, trying to set it up properly. Um, given some time, I'm gonna take probably a couple of days and what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna move most of this shit off of here and put it over here. I have a lot of room over there. Yeah, it was necessary. Um, whatever, I'll adjust that when we get to streaming. Um, super important to do it that way. Um, I want some longevity out of my devices. My PS2 gets, or PS4 gets extremely hot. Uh, my PS2 gets extremely hot, so we're gonna, you know, have to work on it. Gilbert, thank you for the host. So, where was I going with this? Yes, that's right, infinite recurve. Um, how I added this was just a window capture. Window captures are going to be, as you can see, I have a lot of stuff under this as well. Um, you're just gonna capture whatever window fits it up. Like, I remember I used to have to capture my actual chat before uh, CLR plugins. Um, and I have that just as Google Play Music or the uh, mini player is already in there. Again, all sorts of stuff you can do with OBS. It's a very, very powerful program. Um, I love it. I think, how do you get rid of Elgato's audio delay? That is a good question. It depends on which version of Elgato you have. For me, I really don't have an Elgato, like my audio delay isn't that bad. Part of me thinks it comes down to how it processes. Like I know with the new HD60S, 
it, um, there's like almost no lag, like all, literally almost no perceptible lag from what I've seen. Um, I've messed around with one. HD60 Pro. Watching me play a great game. Um, I honestly haven't heard too many complaints. I mean, we can Google it really quick. Oh my god, I can type. There you go. Got you an answer. Cool. I'm going to link you this video. I personally don't use the setup, so I don't know off the top of my head, but there's a link. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, I just use the regular HD60, and to be honest, when I capture, it's not a huge deal for me. Um... I think like I have one like one second of actual delay from the OBS or uh, going into OBS, but I run off of a separate TV, so it's not a huge deal. Um, let's see what else what else would we need for a good stream here, guys? I don't need this. Yeah, I mean I don't mind. Like I said, I have a separate monitor that I play off of, or a separate TV that I play off of, so it's not a huge deal. Also, Skate, we released two new flavors. I'm going to try and ship them down to you as soon as I can. Layers? Overlays? Yeah, we can do, we can talk about overlays. Um, yeah, I honestly, Snake, I think it's just because it doesn't break down like the Avermedias do occasionally. Um, I've heard of them just kind of poo-pooing themselves. But who knows? Um, I only honestly have one overlay that I currently use, and that is this guy. Um, again, this is literally just adding an image. Um, as you see, I have my overlay. You know, you can just kind of add stuff and build layers. Like, I used to have this on my Final Fantasy 15 menu. Um, actually, I think I still might. Let me see if it'll pull up. Uh, nah, I got rid of it because things went crazy. I'm glad to see that's working really well. That's one thing I said. Yo, Steven with the triple. Good job, bud. Uh, you can add things through stream labels. Uh, do I need to look at Lude's Discord as well? Okay, so here, Ryder, we'll teach you how to how to properly report people. All right, where am I going here? So, when people get fucking rude and intolerant with you, um, and you need to properly report them for, you know, stalking you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. Gonna open this up. What we're gonna do is go here and then report. Please fix this. I have like an active case of just like hundreds of hundreds of reported accounts. So there's that. Where did I throw this? This needs to come back over here so I can see it. So, um, images, overlays, like I said, I have, um, you just kind of, kind of got to tweak with it. OBS is a really open program. Um, you can add so many things, uh, image slideshows, and say you want to add, um, like visual effects, stupid things, like I have, um, Like, I have my stupid-ass bit cup. 
So this image is actually, this one right here is actually on top of it, but I'm running a color correction on it to make it opaque. Change the transparency. Ta-da! I mean, all sorts of crazy things. If you want to set up a green screen, you can do that with a within the cam. You can open this up. It's actually a filter. I'm wrong. Come on. The filter, um, I run a little color correction on it. Um, and a uh, chroma key. I don't, I don't have a chroma key. <laughs> so, you'd set up your color, your chroma key, whatever. Oh, that needs to come off immediately. The chat pop out. Um, so how I run it with mine is I literally just go into my own channel and pop out my chat like that's that's the easiest for me um this is bugging me so i'm gonna fix it this is just gonna be annoying as hell i haven't found the right way to do this properly so it just does whatever it wants to. Donation incentive for my girlfriend to flip her hair again. I don't know, babe, how much? Five dollar. <laughs> yeah, Seth, if you have the authority to add that, um, I forget how it is through Nightbot, or if you want to type it out, I can just throw it in. Um, what, I think it's time we add that. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna throw up a I'm gonna actually hide discord really quickly. I'm going to throw up a Capture of my right hand monitor as well to show you guys how I kind of run what goes on here um, Having two monitors is really handy So I'm going to bring up the right monitor capture that's all the way to the top I, this is gonna get stretched, so it's gonna look like shit, but deal with it, all right? This is gonna go on the right side. Then I'm gonna bring up my left monitor capture. So this is how I usually have my shit set up. My chat over here. Um, Discord is usually behind it. I have it hidden for security reasons right now. Um, you know, open up my notes for when I'm speed running. Now, I love it. I love it. There we go. Oh man, this is lagging so good. I fucks with it. Um, over here, I usually have my timer for live splits. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's Amrec. Yes. Um, mainly, I save things to my desktop and eventually I get around to organizing it. I wait until it gets really bad and then I fix it. Um, there's just a lot of emotes, um, quick like screen clips. I've had, to, I've had to literally snip so many things anymore that I, um, it just, you know, it, it, I, I throw into my desktop so I have easy access. So enough of that. I'm actually going to rename this while I have it. Um, wait till it gets bad. Dude, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. So I think this is pretty thorough as it stands. Do you guys have, while, while like we're here with chat, does anybody have any questions about setting up their own stream? I know it's kind of tough because I kind of ran, you know, rushed through it a little bit. But, um, thank you, Seth. And can you test it for me real quick, bud?
Yeah, Gilbert, I'm gonna learn to speedrun for it eventually. Um... Yep. So, seriously, I'm gonna open the floor for any questions, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the stream, and we're gonna reload it. Oh, really, Rose? Okay, cool, let's take the time. Do you have any other questions? Um, because this is really cluttered, I'm gonna throw it to my casual PS2, um, just so it doesn't look really trashy. Yep. So, setting up things like, uh, say, the follower goals and stuff like that is running through stream labels, which is another program uh, that you can activate through Streamlabs. Um, is it necessary? No. Is it nice? If you want to use it, sure. I just have it because a lot of times, you know, during casual, we hang out and we just have fun. So, you know, I can thank people on the spot. During speedruns, 90% of my notifications are turned off. Um, uh, feels low, monster. Exactly. Cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes for questions. Uh, I'm gonna grab a beer. And um, we'll set it up. Come on. Oh, yours. Thanks for reminding me. So it's gonna be practice tonight, Vengeance. Uh, we started way too late um, to do this. Practice. Um, yeah, considering it's 10 o'clock, I would not be able to finish a run until about 4 or 5 in the morning. Not doing it tonight. We'll try again. We'll, we'll try it tomorrow. I had a special request from a good friend of mine. Um, if you guys do not know who Erica Michelle is, um, she is a good friend of mine that lives on the West Coast. The route will change. Uh, I don't know. It's probably never going to change. Um, anyway, if you guys do not know Erica, she is a really cool person. She does a lot of modeling out on the West Coast. Uh, she is part of the EDM community. Really nice person. I um, would definitely recommend following her. And I will also give you guys the warning. If you act like assholes, chances are I will probably be there to ban you. Um, we already... We are probably going to set up the blacklisting. Um... Uh, we could go over blacklisting. That'll be a thing in Ankbot. I mentioned it to her. We're gonna open this up. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to remember where this is. Not there, because I don't have to do it, because I have a good group of mods here. It's not dashboard. Where the fuck is it? Wow, I'm literally having a moment here. Yeah, she's going to be streaming very soon. She is a wonderful wonderful soul. Very